Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, it's me GamerTalk and today we got a full 1 minute 40 seconds of classic gameplay in Sonic Forces showcasing the entirety of the Green Hill Zone stage that was teased during the Nintendo Direct trailer. You can click on the icon on the upper right corner to watch the whole gameplay footage uninterrupted but in this video I will be analyzing it. The gameplay, music, stage design, environment and will also give my thoughts on this. First off let's start with the obvious things. This is indeed Green Hill Zone, not a Neo Green Hill, not Sunset Hill, not Emerald Hill. We start off with the familiar checkered ground, green grasses, familiar totems, sunflowers, palm trees, along with the bridges here and there. The one difference as I mentioned in the short Nintendo Direct news video, what runs underneath those bridges is not water, it is sand. I mentioned that whatever Eggman did possibly caused the rivers and the waterfalls to dry up. As the stage moves on, if you keep looking at the background, the overall setting changes from a full Green Hill Zone atmosphere to a more canyon-like setting, which is very similar to what we have seen in the modern Sonic gameplay trailer, shifting from a full city scene to a more rural area on Green Hill Mountains towards the very end. And so far, I really like these dynamic changes. They are not just a single stage. It truly makes you feel like Sonic is traveling some distance through varied settings within a single stage. On the topic of environment, some people have suggested that this is some sort of a past version of Green Hill Zone due to having classic Sonic in it. But I am gonna have to disagree with that. As we can clearly see, the enemies are not our traditional badniks. They are the new egg pawns and robots from the modern footage we have seen. So most likely, this is not a stage that takes place in the past. The only traditional badnik we see in the stage is strangely a single buzz bomber, unlike the more futuristic ones we have seen in the modern gameplay. Even the choppers that jump on bridge sequences have some futuristic redesign. Before moving on to gameplay, we can see our usual item and ring monitors around and of course the good old springs. It is lovely to have the Sonic CD spinny animation when a spring launches you up though, that has been one of my favorite animations from the classics. The classic gameplay seems much more refined than the one in Generations. Sure, we can't really say much without actually playing it, but from the looks of it, Sonic's moves look much more natural and has gotten rid of that feeling from Generations that made it feel like his actions were slightly delayed. It certainly looks more fluid. The spin dash has obviously been balanced after being way too OP in Generations and I'm also glad to mention that Sonic Team went back to the mash the button type of spin dash than hold the button spin dash which always felt more intuitive to rev Sonic up. You can also see the blue aura around Sonic when he spin dashes similar to how it was in Sonic Adventure and onwards till Unleashed came out. Everything looks more polished and more snappy than how they were in Generations. What truly struck me the most however is what seems to be the new move from Sonic Mania, the drop dash being used in Sonic Forces. At the 1 minute 26 second mark, Sonic does an instant spin dash as he touches the ground. At first I thought it was just a very well timed spin dash but then I looked again. Watching very very slowly you can see Sonic actually starts revving up about 3-4 frames before actually touching the ground. I cannot say for sure if that is truly the case since I do not want to spread misinformation without an actual announcement but it certainly looks like that is indeed the drop dash. That is it from the gameplay department and before I want to talk about the stage design where I have some interesting theories I want to mention that I am really glad the music is not yet another Green Hill Zone 2. Yes, it has a distinct retro music style to it but at the very least it's a brand new track. Now as I said, I have a theory what the stage design might suggest. All this time we have been accustomed to Green Hill Zone being very easy and straightforward since it has always been the first stage in games it was featured in. 
The green heal zone enforces however while having certain parts that can easily be dismissed as easy has certain sections that have constant traps one after the other, falling platforms on top of hazards and the last section where it is filled with enemies along with bottomless pits. Compared to all the green hills before where it was pretty much impossible to die, I am assuming that this green hill zone won't be the very first stage in classic Sonic's journey in this game. And with that we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it or found it interesting and want more similar videos, make sure to let me know in the comments and by hitting that like button. Subscribe for more Sonic Forces videos. You can also find me on Twitter at GamerTurk95 and on Facebook.com slash GamerTurk. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care.